Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the core team, mental health webinar series, and the organizer, the Department of Psychology, the American College Madurai, and associating partners, Madras School of Social Work Chennai, MS Chellamuthu Institute of Mental Health and Rehabilitation Madurai, Red Pond Educational and Psychological Research Center Madurai, Yellow Pond Counseling Center Madurai, and Psycho Oncological Association Turkey. We welcome you all to today's session on functions of mental health rehabilitation center. And today we have Dr. A. Salim as resource person with us. And he has been with us for a couple of sessions in this webinar series. So he is a HR specialist, an organizational psychologist, and a certified cybercrime intervention officer. He has his PhD in human relations and uh, specializations in uh, human resource management, training, industrial psychology, counseling administration, and cybercrime intervention. He has 20 years of experience working in Dubai, handling organizational psychology and many more. So he is a certified cybercrime intervention officer. And with all these uh, credentials, he has also um, published papers in national, national journals and he has presented papers in different forums. He has also been resource persons in different organizations. Thank you very much for being here, Salim, sir. And now the session is over to you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Chandramam. It's my pleasure to talk to you on this uh, webinar today. Uh, good evening, one and all. Shall I start the session, ma'am? Sir, please proceed, sir. Time is yours. I can see your screen, sir. Okay, thank you for the verification, Chadrama. Good evening, Gunandal. Uh, today we are going to see the uh, functions of Mental Health Rehabilitation Center. Um, it's an entirely different setting from the hospital settings, as all you know. There's a huge difference between hospitals and uh, uh, rehab settings. So the functions, of course, it is entirely different while compared to the uh, hospital settings. So let us see today, what are the main activities they are doing and uh, what the plan they're having once the patient is admitted, how it is successful, at what uh, rate of, uh, what percentage uh, they're having the success in the, uh, their uh, strategies, all those things let us have uh, today's sessions. I want to divide into two parts actually. One is uh, we will see the overview of the uh, rehab center and we will see the functions of the rehab center because uh, they have the administrative activities, they have the uh, core um, uh, rehab activities for the uh, patients. So let us see one by one. According to the WHO World Health Organization, as all, uh, all knows, the emotional health, bad work environment leads to the bad emotional health. Due to depression and anxiety, uh, there is a loss of 1 trillion in global economy. If there is proper emotional health management, there will be four times increase in productivity. So it is very much important to uh, maintain the mental health in terms of uh, success in our workplace, as well as our career, as well as in our personal life. So we have to take care of our mental health in terms of uh, success, getting success. Let us come to the point. We should know the rehab center, what the functions, what they are doing. As I said earlier, it is entirely different settings from the hospital. The function of rehab center is to offer the means by which patients can find the tools that they need to recover from their addiction or disability in order that they can reach their communities and regain a better quality of life. Occupational rehab centers are most often found as part or extension of hospitals and clinics. In general, rehab uh, centers, they're admitting three kinds of patients. Let us see one by one. Just I want to brief into that, um, uh, the patients with the illness, the patients with addiction, the patients with the rehab patients, uh, mentally retired. So mainly these three categories, they are admitting. There is a certain procedures before admitting the rehab center, the family 
as well as the patients, they have to undergo some procedures. Actually, to start with the hospitals. So let us see today. The main function of the rehab is three. They are taking care of the three kind of people. One is mental illness people, and second one is mental retardation people. Now it's called intellectual disability. And third one is addiction. It's called substance use disorder. These are the three categories. They're admitting in that rehab center and they have three different strategies to take care, to recover from the, these three kind of um, things. They have each one, uh, they have the different categories, uh, strategies to recover. Mental illness, they have some strategies. Mental retardation, different kind of strategies. Disorder addictions, they have different kind of strategies. Big setup, they have the social workers, they have the nurses and caretaker, and almost uh, the topmost senior uh, social worker uh, taking care of the all the administrative part. And apart from this, a senior social worker is uh, directly involving with some clients uh, or resident. Uh, who are the patients they are joining or uh, entering into the home? They are calling us a residents. They are not calling us a patients. So senior social worker and social worker they are doing the administrative activity of the center, rehab center, and join with. They are taking care of some couple of um, residents directly. Every day they are dealing with the people. They are interacting, and they are getting feedbacks. All those things. And top of that, management team is there. Management team like advisors and consultant, they are visiting and they are giving the uh, reports and they are uh, with the uh, uh, topmost people. So it is a very good functioning, very good system. They are having the check and balance system and it is independent. And of course, they are tied up with a lot of uh, private companies and who are willing to volunteer the projects and they are ready to uh, doing that project. And apart from that, what are the government's projects related to the mental health? These rehab centers are ready to take and uh, taking the initiative of these projects. The use of rehab center is using various approaches for you. And the support and the concern from the rehab center make you get a huge hope about the positive result. The medical detoxification and the other customized therapies in the treatment are given in the added benefit to the patients. They are giving occupational therapy, they are giving speech therapy, they are giving vocational therapy, and they are having individual activity as well as group activity and they are having the each uh, they are having the common plan and they are having the individual plan for the individual clients because each individual clients they are in the different state of mind and the different percentage of the level of iq or eq whatever it may be so they have the common goal for the rehab center and they have the individual plan for the resident as well So as I said earlier, there are three categories only they are admitting. First one is mental illness. Mental illness, also called mental health disorder, first wide range of mental health conditions, disorder that affect your mood, thinking, behavior. That's all we know that. Some example is like depressions, anxiety disorders, schizophrenia, eating disorder, Addictive behavior, all those things. As we know, these are the five examples, um, um, and there are 375 disorders out there as per ICQ and the DSM 5, ICQ 10. They are classified into the 375 disorders or mental health diseases. And second category of the resident or mental retardation. 
actually it is a condition of arrested or incomplete development of the mind which is especially characterized by impairment of skills manifested during the developmental period which contribute to the overall level of intelligence like cognitive language motor and social abilities these are the people should be taken care entirely different and their social intervention or uh, social relationship is uh, very compared to other people's and coming to the self hygiene they are taking care of the in the like uh, social work they are first they are giving the importance and they are giving the training to the taking care of the self hygiene first second level only they are going to, they are uh, giving the training to maintain the relationship with the other people or roommates or uh, whoever it may be then they are giving the training to the uh, next level like occupational therapy or vocational therapy so this mental retardation paper they must require self hygiene training in the very beginning level it is very very important once they are trained very well at least they can do automatically by their works actually they will not depend on anybody that is a main motto agenda of the uh, training and third one is addiction or substance use disorder it is a complex condition in which there is uncontrolled use of a substance despite a harmful consequence SUD substance use disorder have an intense focus on using a certain substance such as alcohol tobacco illicit drugs to the point where the person's ability to function day to day life becomes impaired so this person only families and relatives admitting the clients to the home um, the strategy is entirely different to, to deal, uh, deal with this um, sud clients are resident because they have to undergo the detox sessions so they have to admit hospitals or uh, nursing home resident um, is uh, home only uh, uh, first week or have a medicine for the deed once it's toxification and they will take the test like a blue urine test and lft test and all it come to know the uh, level of the condition of the scent all those things and they will make sure all the touch have been done they will give the individual counseling after that they will invite their families to give the family counseling everything is successful they will try to integrate with the family with these people if anything failed then again it will start with the first one detoxification that is the of the treating this uh, uh, sud uh, patients okay we all know these things these three category is for people only admitting in the rehab center so we should know what is the admission proce- procedure where to approach how to approach and what is the uh, things generally in the markets happening so all those things we should know and just like that we cannot uh, go and knock the door and we cannot admit in the rehab center there is a certain procedure we have to follow the protocol then only in the rehab center they will admit actually in general uh, you can see the mental retarded people in the uh, street also Uh, um, some social worker or social volunteer they will try to admit in the homes but even though they are interested in very social uh, life they have to undergo some procedures if at all they are seeing the people mentally retarded people in the street first of all they have to attack those people they have to uh, inform to the concerned government authority then they have to inform to the police and the police give the csr paper with the csr paper they have to go to the government gh and government gh they will admit the patient and they will they, uh, they will take all the medical tests after the medical tests they will recommend these patients require the rehab center for the certain period with that letter a gh letter and along with the uh, police csr letter the social worker or volunteer they have to take the patient and they have to admit in the free home wherever it may be this is the procedure for the people in this street suppose some of our friends or some of our family members they want to uh, 
um, uh, some kind of help so what we have to do how to uh, uh, go ahead further those things let us see we have to approach the uh, hospital psychiatric hospital first once we approach they have the uh, some procedures they will take as a op outpatient they will not directly uh, up, um, admit as a inpatient first of all they will take outpatient there is a certain procedure to admit in the outpatient actually outpatient is a patient they will come from the home and they will the, uh, take the treatment an outpatient department or outpatient clinic is the part of the hospital designed for the treatment of the outpatient people with problems who visit the hospital for diagnosis or treatment but do not at this time require to bed or to be admitted for overnight care so they will meet the concern social work in the hospital setting they will lead to the psychologist or counselor they will do the lot of assessment this assessment done then psychiatric uh, doctor will see the patient along with the report of the counselors uh, with the uh, profile with the msc all those report this is the procedure for the outpatient they will give the treatment or they will give the medicines recommend the medicines for a week time or something whatever they will see the review the next week if it is not happen up to their mark then they will recommend to go for the inpatient admit in the hospital if suppose they are recovered from the outpatient or they have the better um, uh, respondent or they have the better mental health condition compared to the uh, admission day then they will advise to the family members to keep the client or patient as a outpatient only weekly once each review is required okay uh, once the patients admitted in the hospital or visited the psychiatric hospital the council social work they get take care of the initial work and they will do the assessment for the assessment there are two different thing one is icd 10 and another one is dsm 5 as per this this classifications they will categorize the symptoms of the patient according to the symptoms they will use the scale for the assessment each symptoms or each group of family symptoms have different scale relevant scale so first counselor or psychologist they will uh, categorize the patient symptoms as per the classification of international classification of disease that's called icd 10 it is provided by the world health organization and another one classification called dsm5 the diagnosis and statistical manual of mental disorder it's produced by the american psychiatric association in any hospital they will follow apa they will follow icd10 to identify the disorder or disease so we come to the conclusion which family it is once it is derived then they will go for the like scaling rating the uh, person as icd 10 and dsm actually there are 375 disorder are there mental health disease let us see icd international classification of diseases they categorize into main uh, nine different uh, like you can see the family nine different category headings they uh, derived one is f0 that is called uh, organic including symptomatic mental disorder and f1 is mental and behavioral disorders due to use of psychoactive substance f2 schizophrenia schizotypal and delusional disorders f3 mood disorder f4 neurotic stress related and somatoform disorders f5 behavioral syndromes associated with this physiological disturbances and physical factors f6 is disorders of personality and behavior in adult persons f7 mental retardation f8 disorders of psychological development f9 is uh, behavioral and emotional disorder this is as per icd classification 
that is see dsm5 classification this is from american psychological association classification they divided into five category access one clinical disorder and two is personality disorder and mental retardation third one is general medical condition fourth one is psychosocial and environmental problem and last one is global assessment for functioning according to dsm5 or icd10 the psychologists or counselor they will category depends on their symptoms they will come to conclusion of the uh, exactly uh, symptoms under which category under what uh, family it's following it's uh, f- f- fall down basically as i said 375 of uh, types of mental uh, disorders there mental illness in general we know like anxiety stay, um, uh, stress uh, depression uh, for example some of the things i mentioned here out of 375 just for the understanding purpose or overview i cannot to put 375 here let us see couple of things in the names of the mental illness anxiety disorder mood disorder psychotic disorder eating disorder impulse control disorder personal disorder adjustment disorder dissociative disorder sexual and gender disorder somatoform or psychosomatic disorder and you can see dissociative disorder there are different category we can uh, again we can classify deep personalization disorder dissociative amnesia dissociative ego something like that so and then coming to the mood disorder we can again classify uh, we can do the classification like bipolar manic hypomanic manic episode mixed like that and for some couple of examples also i mentioned here like sleep under sleeping uh, disorders insomnia we all knows and uh, necroplexy sleep terror disorder and again coming to the personality and social personality disorder dependent personality disorder histrionic personality disorder multiple personality disorder so there are 375 disorders classified by icd10 and dsm5 so we have to if a patient comes we have to categories um into um, um, uh, under the this uh, 375 i th- mentioned a couple of things this is impulse control disorder and anxiety disorder panic attack social phobia specific phobia all those things this is other mental disorders alcohol abuse acute stress disorder internet addiction adjustment disorder alzheimer disease anorexia nervosa body uh, dysmorphic disorder brief psychotic disorder these things are uh, depressions these things are the other mental health disorders okay once we identified the symptoms we have to um, measure the uh, symptoms level scale then only the coping strategy or other things we have the medications plans we have to plan it we, ha- we can do it uh, here also we have three 275 scales according to the uh, icd and the dsm but everybody will not use all the scales somebody will uh, some different scales one or two, two scales the mental health screening and assessment tool for the primary care is, it's a table provides a listing of mental screening and assessment tool summarizing their psychometric testing cultural consideration cost and key reference basically in the 275 tools one or two two uh, tool is very important every day life uh, in the hospital saying things uh, they are uh, using actually this on the uh, like uh, child adolescent or adult here uh, they are mentioned the age as per uh, uh, mental health 9 to 4 age is uh, pre adolescent and uh, 14 to 18 is uh, adolescent and 18 to 18 to 45 is uh, adult and 46 to 60 um, gerotonic and 60 the organic disorder these are the main classification of the uh, category and scale also we can divide into depends on the symptoms 
if somebody is falling in the addiction there are five skills is there we can use anyone alcohol use disorder identification test medicine shopping addiction scale age questionnaire craft screening test and adhd adhd also having different scale autism spectrum quotient childhood autism rating scale crs childhood autism spectrum test autism diagnostic observation schedule adys ecto autism and asperger diagnostic scale we can use anyone it is not a compulsory or mandatory all the skills we can use anyone as per our convenient or existing suppose some hospital they are already literally using some skills we can follow that uh, whatever the skills they are having in the and coming to the anxiety so back anxiety inventory scale child ptsd symptom scale clinician administered ptsd scale these are the famous scales to measure the anxiety level plc ptsd index trauma screening questionnaire taylor manifest cd scale social phobia inventory spien social phobia and anxiety inventory brief form these are skills we can use any one out of this to measure the anxiety only not other uh, symptoms only for anxiety okay so what they will do they will identify the symptom and they will use the scale to measure okay what next once it is measured in the outpatient uh, stage itself they will do in the scales we are having the result 0 to 25 percentage it is a normal no need to worry at all and they are falling 25 to 50 percentage they need counseling yoga meditation they can be the outpatient or they can have wherever uh, as per their convenient they can go for the meditation and they can do it if suppose as per the measurement they are falling under the 50 to 70 percentage they must attend psychiatric consulting and they have to undergo some medical advice they have to undergo some medicines as well for the couple of months or couple of weeks whatever depends on their conditions level and the doctor's advice if suppose they are falling 75 to 100 the patient must admitted in the hospital say in patient not out patient they must admit because probably they will have the aggressive behavior it will affect the others like a family members or whoever it may be so it is advised or okay this mandatory meet the people who are having the 70 to 100 percentage they must admit in the hospital after analyzing the required scale as i mentioned like addiction scale or whatever scale said the present they will do they will measure depends on the result they will category and they will advise they can be the out patient or they can be the in patient here also in patient directly they will not advise to to go uh, out to the home rehab center if at all hospitalization admission uh, admi- um, in ip in patient is required they will first they will admit in the hospital settings only not in the rehab center in the hospital settings they will observe for like one month or one and a half month even two months also if it is recovered well they will try to reintegrate to the family they will see the uh, review from the family they will get the feedback if the patient is okay fine then they can come as a out patient and they can take the treatment we suppose after discharge and after reintegration into the family after a couple of months again person having the same problem then it is advisable to go to the rehab center this is the uh, main thing to admit in the rehab center in person mental health treatment facilities are one of the many forms of mental health help available to people uh, living with mental health difficulties in person care refers to admission into the uh, facility dedicated solely for mental health care or a hospital for the treatment of the mental illness basically it will be 30 days to 45 then they will try to if it is not, uh, if he is not recover well then they will advise to go to the rehab center okay so doctor come to the conclusion definitely in the patient to get the rehab center meant 
after analyzing after the all the report after the 45 days treatment they will advise to go to the rehab center advice with this medications a medical report we have to approach to the rehab center and we have to get the admission so here what rehab center they will do they will do the first temporary admission they will not do the direct admissions they will do the temporary admission In temporary admission they will see the uh, patient's cooperation That's very very important uh, they have the existing setup in the rehab center due to the new patient the existing setup should not be affected because already a couple of people living there taking the as a resident taking care of the health somebody is rec recovered well so due to the new patient the existing clients or existing resident mental should not affect so they will give a temporary admission first the temporary admission basically uh, i can say it's for a week they will do keep in the different uh, temporary uh, admission center or black or whatever it may be they will observe closely how he is cooperating they are willing to continue or not all those things if it is everything is okay after a week they will put the permanent admission then only they will go for their plans they will execute their plan like um, self hygiene training and medications and a group training activities occupational vocational training speech therapy or whatever it is okay they have the uh, set of plans and they will try to execute in every day after a week the purpose of rehabilitation is to restore some or all of the patient's physical sensory and mental capabilities that were lost due to injury illness or disease rehabilitation includes assisting the patient to compensate for deficit that cannot be reversed medically it is prescribed after many types of injury illness or disease including amputations at with cancer cardiac disease neurological problems orthopedic injuries spinal cord injuries and traumatic brain injuries basically all the mental illness we can divide it into the five category one is physical uh like head injuries all those all those things come under the physical and second one is physical here we can again divide into two areas like and as we know pain and pleasure uh, principle 10% pain uh, like pleasure and 90% pain so we have to give the training to cope with the pains that means if situations we cannot avoid the some circumstances some event some uh, uh, persons or whatever it may be so we have to able to adapt the situations those kind of training is required for the psychological uh, causes mental illness people and third causes is environmental we know environmental lot of things are happening recently um, i have under i have come across one patient he is a one murder uh, he is almost 50 year age and he is a one murder after the incident this trauma what happened um, next day um, he had a seizure he had a epilepsy problem due to the trauma still he is under medications uh, this, this is happened uh, because of the environmental or social whatever it may be and another one is economical we know nowadays kids are they are having the laptop mobile the, all those things if parent are not giving and uh, uh, they are going undergoing the stress this is the economic uh, uh, things and the social so, uh, belief system all those things lot of factors are there uh, they are believing some systems and uh, they wrongly uh, doing some activities and they are end up with the mental illness recently the top um, uh, things happen in uh, cases happen in andhra and one cases happen in uh, kerala i believe that it lead to the death also you know, i think all might have read in the newspaper so um, these are things happen social uh, precautions very very important rehabilitation should be carried out only by qualified therapists like if nurse is working there it should be the gnm certified nurse or bsc nursing or a nm at least a nm if social work are there it should be the uh, qualified social work he should complete he or she should complete msw master of social work 
if counselor is working it should be the either clinical psychologist or counseling psychologist should be uh, qualified uh, certification all those things this and other physical intervention must take into the account for the patient's deficit an example of division clause of claim uh, apart from they are giving yoga training they are giving the uh, like um, they are allowing to play in the games so uh, like entertainment activity every i hear that every week they are uh, uh, um, uh, showing that movie whatever the movies they having the hall and they are uh, putting movies in the halls in the uh, like open theater and apart from this every dining i visited one of the recently visited the rehab center and every dining they have the tv so they can do the um, they can watch the as uh, tv programs during the dining time a proper and adequate rehabilitation program can reverse many disabling conditions that we all must uh, we all knows this one or can help patients cope with defects that cannot be reversed by medical uh, care rehabilitation addresses the patient's physical physiological environmental need as we said uh, earlier the patient they have the physical need physiological need environmental need so these three they are lagging like Uh, they are categorized into self hygiene and occupational and vocational and social uh, relationship so these are the things that um, um, sectors they are giving the training and it is achieved by restoring the patient's physical function and are modifying the patient's physical and the social environment the main type of rehabilitation are physical occupational and speech therapy rehabilitation program they have that uh, like uh, different pillar program in compared uh, in india uh, government they are having the uh, program some trust some of the ngos they are running uh, the whatever the uh, government programs are some rehab centers they are having their own programs strategies and they have the different tariffs for the patients and uh, depends on the tariff they have the accommodations and the food and all those things so there are lot of uh, different kind of uh, um, uh, homes uh, the rehab centers are there depends on the um, programs we can advise the people to go and admit and once admitted um, the patients new patient here in the home once the new patients come they are reviewing entire medical history they reviewing the scale they reviewing the uh, uh, record all those things after it, what they are doing in the home rehab center they have the counselor they have the social work again they are doing analyzing the uh, mental health uh, mental illness uh, uh, level they are having the scale they are having the tool they are analyzing because before uh, the in patient definitely the patient admit in the hospital they uh, take the treatment of 45 days or one month so probably they recovered so it is mandatory in the, to the rehab center it is compulsory any new patient the day one they have to do the assessment from the rehab center point of view and the, um, from the staff from the rehab center they cannot uh, keep the old assessment and they cannot give the uh, training whatever it may be so it is mandatory in the very beginning first day they have to do the assessment by the professional assessor our counselor and they have to make a plan and the plan should be carried out after the uh, temporary trial period basically one week they will do only observe they want to uh, they uh, make sure either the new patient cooperating with the other uh, resident or not after that they are giving the training okay. everything is okay the patient is uh, willing to uh, uh, be stay in the house home then what they will do they will give the individual activity first and they will give the self hygiene training and they will give the training in terms of uh, maintaining the relationship and they will give the physical therapy the physical therapy helps the patient restore the ease of muscles bones and the nervous system through the use of the cold massage oil pull baths ultrasound exercise and other techniques they have the like different kind of uh, uh, like physiotherapy center even they have the um, for the walking they have the walking platform they have lot of setups inside the home it's six a relief 
pain improve strength and mobility and train the patient to perform important every day task there is an instructor he is every day is watching physical data or pt professionals and they are make sure every resident they are undergoing working every resident they are undergoing the physiotherapy and all those things and finally end of the day this physiotherapist or pt person they are giving the report to the social senior social worker as well as social worker and every week they are analyzing assessing either it is there is improvement in uh, the physical capacity in physical therapy and they want to improve or they want to give the alternative physical therapy or it is not required all those things during the meeting they are assessing with the uh, senior social worker okay after that the next level next level uh, basically they are putting the clients to concentrate on any kind of work if they are ideal definitely uh, practically they are going back to the pavilion so they want to engage with the resident to the any kind of occupational therapy uh, like uh, in one of the home they have the uh, occupational therapy called like bakery uh, they have the paper cup making they have the like uh, stitching they have uh, different kind of um, ornaments uh, making like uh, clay ornaments making whatever it may small uh, basically the main purpose is they want to engage in kind of occupation if at all um, actually what they are doing in the occupational therapy also um, they are putting a team and then the team is making like a, for example paper cup and the home every week or monthly ones they are trying to sell the paper cup to the uh, society if any income sir they are uh, returning and dividing into the the team of the clients who were involved in the team so this is called one of the occupational uh, therapy if any patient come to this occupational level uh, we can say he is uh, very well recovered if occupational is not he failed in occupational then definitely the patient is required uh, like self or social relationship if both the training self hygiene social relationship trainings are um, come across then only the occupational he can patients can enter or clients can enter the occupational therapy <laughs> and finally speech therapy normally all resident not require speech therapy some of the <coughs> residents only require the speech therapy uh, speech therapy may be prescribed a rehab to a patient after the uh, injury cancer or neuromuscular disease stroke or injuries <clears throat> the duration of the speech therapy program varies depends on the injury illness being treated and patients are the um, and, um, special education uh, teachers they are having the speech to the patients <clears throat> and they have the different kind of education system different methods to teach this mr people and uh, mi people or uh, addiction people addiction people i don't think uh, speech therapy is like basically mi and mr people like speech therapy so they have the different strategy for mr and uh, as well as mi and uh, depends on the age also as i said pre adolescent adolescent and they have the different uh, st- strategy and finally the result the process of restoring a person's ability to live and work as not possible after a disabling injury or illness this is the uh, aim of the rehab center it aims to help the patients achieve maximum possible physical and physiological fitness and regain the ability to be independent it offers assistance with the learning or relearning of skills needed in everyday activities with occupational training and guidance that they will try to associate or rejoin into the family if everything successful and they will be graceful and they will be happy so basically after rejoining the they have to make sure in the relationship with the family the parent child relationship couple relationship relationship with the friends and relationship with you if anything problem in poor area Uh, it shows that they are not recovered and probably some percentage of things uh, they have to take the treatment again if all these these four box are for success successfully maintain the relationship 
of course they are very well 100% recover from the their mental illness to improve workplace relationship like positive attitude treat with respect award gossip all those things is improve the work this are tips for the workplace and great relationship is on two main principle first appreciate your similarity and respect your differences we should not um, expect the same caliber or same qualities uh, ours with others it will not work out everybody uh, we can assess our own self also suppose uh, we are having a loss of interest excessive crying in one of the our family members what do we have to do we have to uh, for a month we have to note it like 15 days uh, we have to put the zero to 10 scale suppose uh, excess, some of our children are restless sleep some of our children they are in, having their expl- or uh, old age people in our family uh, take for example restless sleep we can ask our grandma or grandfather suppose uh, they have a difficulty level zero to 10 they are giving the five they are giving the 10 so we have to monitor for 30 days so the first column i put a duration of days and second column i put difficulty level zero to uh, 10 level if they're having the nine they have a difficult different uh, so much the difficult level and they have the five moderate i can say so we have to add and 30 plus 5 35 for example you take only one restless sleep number of days 30 and the difficult level is 5 out of 10 so multiple uh, add it 30 plus 35 it will come 35 then we can it compare to we can compare the along with the duration of days and the level 30 days for example uh, 30 days and the rest of the sleep is 5 in the 30 days these are the counseling action plan we have to cut down so how to cut down we have to have a plan of uh, every week suppose loss of interest this week we have to cut down 10 percentage suppose we are um, achieving six percentage and we are lost in four percentage so we have to make a some hobby class um for the rest of the sleep we have to go for the gym to drain our physical activity then we'll get the good sleep so this exercise we can do our own with uh, it will help our family members like our father mother or our uh, our children or who it may be just for example i mentioned here it will maybe helpful to you these are the graphs for the actual and the cut down if both curves are there in one place then we achieved that is called the achievement plan we can measure uh, by our own itself thank you on and all thank you very much uh, salim sir for a very detailed uh, presentation you have covered thank almost you. Uh, where we have to refer about mental illness which is authorized and how many types of illness are there and what the rehabilitation center could support very well done, sir. Thank you very much. And now uh, it's time for discussion. So now I request the participants to unmute your mics and talk to Salim, sir, or you can put your questions in the chat box. We can discuss. Uh, Salim, sir, to begin with, I have my first question. Yes, uh, I'm curious to know what is the minimum period a person uh, stays in a rehabilitation center or what is the maximum period it takes for them to move out of it? Okay, ma'am. Um, coming to the point, in practically, I, I can say I discussed with the some of the social worker in the and as per their statement, uh, what they are telling, some outpatient they are successfully went after the three months, and some of the patients after a year they went. It is uh, depends on the uh, their uh, family conditions or depends on the recovery rate, and what they are telling. Uh, one thing they are telling in the rehab center, whoever is coming, the success rate, they have the more than 90% success rate. That is, uh, they are accepting that. That means they are giving the training, for the recovery uh, training. And this depends on the illness condition, as I mentioned earlier, 0 to 100. From three months here, tentatively we can take it, ma'am. Thank you, sir. So we have a question in the chat box. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'll read it for you, sir. Compared yeah. to developed yeah. nations like the US, what is the state of rehabilitation center in our country? Uh, compared to you. And compared to the developed countries, sir, 
what is the what? state of a rehabilitation center in our country okay Can that means the, the rehabilitation I think, center I think comparing with the us and our uh, indian rehab centers comparison all those things yeah okay uh, see in general that is developed com- uh, country even uh, in the working platform after 40 also in the us all the companies they are having the mid career crisis they know everybody is reaching the 40 they are, uh, they will have the mid career crisis and they are giving the uh, mid career counseling so uh, in practically india even though we having the it companies and uh, we are uh, we are uh, having the more human resource in our country particularly like age of um, uh, 20 to 50 we have the um, uh, youth people and we are supplying uh, human power to the all the innocents but we don't have the mid career uh, counseling in the corporate companies but even it company not organized sector even organized sector organized sector um, even organized sector also it sectors and we don't have the career counseling uh, practically it's not happening any organization so this is the one example compared to the career counseling mid career counseling in terms of working in environment you can take the same way uh, in all the aspect like mental illness or mental retirement rate also um um as per um, uh, their uh, our populations we required um, in one of the statistical data says and we required um, 30 to 50000 mental health professionals uh, next couple of years even 20 or 20000 mental health psychiatrists they registered and they went to abroad so the ratio one is to thousand or uh, something is there so um we required more mental health professionals so that means we can identify we can say one thing so we are lacking in the professional to treat the people that is the ground uh, reality whereas in the us they have the enough professionals therapists taking care of the their country populations whereas in india we don't have that much professionals to, to taking care of 130 crores people so that is the ground reality thank you ma'am Thank you very much, sir. I hope uh, Muthu sir, sir has answered your question. And now we have another question from Vijay Priya ma'am. Uh, she is asking, what is the tentative substance addiction or any other type of rehabilitation in India? Tentative? Cost, sir. I think the expense she is asking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For the recovery, for the um, uh, retreating, this one. Yeah, for substance addiction or any other type of rehabilitation? Um, substance addiction, basically, the process I will explain to you, once the people are addicted and they, if they are admitted in the rehab center, first week they are giving the uh, medications, uh, they are putting under the medications and uh, um, uh, like one week or two weeks they are giving the medicines to, to detoxify the uh, uh, things, whatever in their uh, liver or whatever uh, thing. So, uh, this completely done by the uh, 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 first two, two weeks only under medications only. They will not do any other activity or anything. So, basically, uh, for the uh, medications, probably, I think for a week, um, I think so, um, five to 10,000 within uh, uh, the detoxification programs, they will come out. Okay. After two weeks, they were trying to give the counseling. They are starting the counseling. Here, uh, they are having the two level. One is the um, uh, counseling for the resident and counseling for the family. And the period of time they are taking two to three months because they want to make sure either this uh, clients they are recovered back or again they are having the back to pavilion. So they have to make sure they have to completely withdraw. So the staying cost for two or three months that is the main thing. It depends, uh, depends on the tariff. The staying cost for the three months uh, it will vary uh, because uh, they have the high end tariff and they have the low end tariff it depends on the rehab center so if you want like uh, the two people staying room they have the five people they have the dormitory so it depends on the of course food i can say they have the uniform food uh, all the reason they have the uniform food but uh, for the uh, rooms they have the two percent sharing the five percent sharing and dormitory these things will vary. So this tariff vary. It depends on the things. And we have to stay for the uh, three months. So uh, we have to calculate accordingly, ma'am. Depends on the tariff and the uh, time period is three months. 
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, are there any free treatment in terms of rehabilitation for people, sir? Ma'am, government projects is going on. There are some of the trusts they are undertaking the government projects. Even uh, MS Chalamuthi Institute, they are having the um, uh, free uh, MI home. One is in Madurai, I think. Madurai is uh, some of the village in Madurai, and one is Dindikal, another one is Ramnad. I believe that these three are um, um, uh, run by the MS Chalamuthi Institute under some government uh, fund. So there are, it is available, ma'am. There are some. Uh, uh, homes are available for the free treatment. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, you have got feedback chat box saying it is wonderful, elaborative, informative, interesting, useful. And we don't have uh, much questions in the chat box now, sir. So on Fine, behalf of yeah. the organizers, and the participants, and also on behalf of the core team, uh, I give my heartfelt thanks to you, sir, for being present this evening and giving a talk on rehabilitation center functionalities. And uh, personally, I have learned something new from this today. Thank you for that. And uh, I think more awareness has to be created about this, sir. A lot of people in day-to-day -day life are suffering with this without uh, you know, um, yeah. knowing how to handle things. Yes, so, yes. uh, I think more uh, care and more uh, priority should be given to the mental health professionals in terms of, um, you know, academics and also in uh, career. So, yes, if there's going to come up, uh, India will also soon give a breakthrough on this kind of uh, researchers, sir. Thank you very yes. much, sir. And I also thank all the participants who have been present with us this evening. So, wish you all good night. See you all tomorrow on another session on another link at the same time. Bye-bye. Good night. Okay. Bye. See you, ma'am. Thank you, participant. Thank you, one and all.